the internet is like the wild west there's a lot of great science fact information we have access to which is awesome but there's also a lot of fluff fake news and scams out there so naturally a lot of people have their guard up so it's always interesting to have a chat and a little giggle after our clients finish the love your skin program and hear some of the thoughts and resistance and what was happening in their head before they started the program and maybe this is going through your head too at first I was like, is she for real or am I going to pay her? And then I'm never going to hear from her again. And then, like I said, everything just kept getting worse. And I kind of hit that rock bottom where I was just miserable all the time. I didn't think I was ever going to get better. And so that was just when I was like, okay, I'm, I've am i got to do something. I've got to have somebody help me because I've tried everybody that's supposed to help me and nobody's been able to yet. And I'm glad I did. I love her saying <laughs> saw a naturopath I've seen doctors I've seen dermatologists all the sort of solutions didn't didn't work so I guess it's the same as it's another solution that you hear about and then you're wondering does it actually because it costs money to do something like this are you going to get the value out of it and I could say 110 percent I got the value out of it to see other people that had got a positive outcome from it was the biggest thing for me not just for another thing to try and then fail at <laughs> the other thing knowing that like yourself you've been through it and you have the expertise through all the studies and you've helped all these people but you yourself have actually done it and then someone I was just saying to you before like my angel messaged me separately as part of this this eczema detox group and said you should try seeing Alicia and I thought yeah yeah in the back of my mind I thought oh if this doesn't work like I'll look into it and then it got to the point where it wasn't working and I was like okay Alicia <laughs> I remember reading up about when I Googled your name and looked, talked about the program and everything and it's eating a rainbow and using food as medicine. And I was like, this is ridiculous. Like I'm allergic to all that stuff. Like this isn't going to help me. I don't know. <laughs> like I'll give it a go, but like this lady's crazy. I'm barely, I can barely eat just white food. At the start of the yeah. program, most people, this is their last, this is my last option like I literally felt like I'd tried everything so yeah it was like a a little gift <laughs> to be given yeah. your your name then it all starts from there pretty much and I was like I don't know if I have time for a program and it sounded just really like kind of intense and I thought mm -hmm. and in my day-to-day -day, like the type of person I am I just I'm go 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 like I I run on I don't feel like it but in hindsight after the program I like run on fumes. I'm not the kind of yeah. person that stops and just sits and reflects or is in the moment. Like I'm just moving through the motions. Like keep three kids alive, can I eat three meals today. Like that's it. <laughs> that's that's yeah. like the top of my list. Um, so yeah, I was yeah. like, can I invest this much time? But the thing is, the, what you learn is that you need to. You need to yeah. say, okay, I need to invest this time in myself because if I don't, no one else will. So um yeah. yeah and I need to invest that time in myself so that I can have better time with my family and all my other people so I was a bit hesitant I was like I don't know I don't know but yeah best decision ever I was, I was of that mindset first I'm gonna do this on my own you find yourself going into like a black hole on, on google just finding out all these different things that it could be and how you how you should change your diet and how you should do this and try this program and try that I think when you go to a conventional doctor and they and you know I had it so many times with like nothing wrong with you, <laughs> it's like, you know, your, your blood works fine you know you, there's no underlying health symptom there and I'm just like well, look at me look at my face yeah everything's normal <laughs> and so when I found you and started working with you it was kind of um whilst it was a tough time I look back on it as like such a such a great decision because I'm here now with pretty much clear skin and I have my life back after <clears throat> sorry after um being in, in a pretty dark place. I am like the most skeptical person when it comes to signing up for anything and all of my like this is a scam this person doesn't know what they're doing I'm not gonna get like I'm not gonna waste my money like I just had all of these red flags going off at once but it was funny because in the following months like you I kept seeing your stuff on Facebook come up and so finally I watched one of your seminars and I'm like all right I just want to hear what she has to say and I'm watching it I'm thinking okay she really does sound like she knows what she's talking about 
but I still was like, no, just like one excuse after another. It was a long process before I even reached out to you. I was just kind of like watching this stuff, being really skeptical, thinking like, I'm not falling for it. Um, and then it was literally like, I, I hit rock bottom with like, I, I blew through every resource I had. And I was at the point where I'm like, I don't know who else to go to. And at that point I was trying to find an eczema specialist. Cause I'm like, well, maybe there's like a functional doctor who does just like skin rashes. Cause that's my biggest thing. Like, you know, that I could visibly see. And it was really hard to find, at least for me, like I was I was doing a lot of research and there'd be a lot of functional medicine doctors who did all kinds of things or like a very broad spectrum, but it was, I never came across anyone who was like, this is like my special field. So that drew me back to you again. Cause I'm like, okay, she's the only one that's like specifying in this. So maybe I should just find out more. And that's when I finally reached out and you agreed to sit down talk to me, have a long conversation with me and then with my husband. And I'm like, all right, this hasn't happened yet with any doctor I've talked to, like sat down and talked so long and answered all my questions. And so, yeah, I mean, it was just, it went from like hundred percent, like not going there to hundred percent feeling like this was my one option just to take it. I suppose just the main resistance was all the damage I've done. And cause I would think, have I done too much damage for it to be repaired? I suppose just the resistance on spending the money on myself and my health and you know is it really going to work because I'm not also visually like going to you like you go to a doctor or a naturopath but there's so many more pros so many more people going through the same journey as you which I do really love about it I remember saying to Mandy at one of the first calls I was like I don't have that mom guilt anymore even if my kids are home and I'm not always attending to them because I'm on this call, I'm I always just out like I'm doing it for them. If my child had this, I'd have no hesitation. I'd, you know, spend thousands of dollars to look after them and their health. But when it comes to being a mum, you always question, is it worth it? Like spending that money on myself, but realizing now health is the number one important and I can't be the mum I want to be if my health isn't optimal. I think part of human nature is always to be a little bit skeptical. You never really know. I was pretty certain after the first couple conversations, the more I listened to you, the more I understood what you were saying. And the big picture became clear. You're able to make that very clear to me. It just became a no brainer. As frustrating as it can be sometimes, just enjoy the process, slow down, don't beat yourself up. You're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days. Lean on the program. The community is great for support. Anytime you have any questions, people will help you out. Just realize there's never a good time to start something like this. You just have to take those small steps because the way you accomplish something big is small steps. So you just got to put one foot in front of the other. You'll get to where you want to go.